and I just yelled at the referee all game. I was so mad. I'm a backslider. No, Sal. Just like the kids, we all make mistakes. Now let's lighten up with a good chant. You guys ready? Yes. yes. Here we go, small blacks, here we go. Here we go, small blacks, here we go. You all right, Lisa? Sorry, DC. My mistake. Don't be sorry. It's just a mistake. You'll get it next time. Remember, nobody's perfect. But great sideline behaviour makes perfect sense. Sorry, I'm late. I was sleeping. But it's good for me to be here because the show must go on and we're going to get the party started with our man Johnson and Black Chat. Phew. Hey, is that breakfast? <laughs> Today's guest, he's the tallest man in the team. They call him the Tall Timber, but I call him Sue. It is All Black's lock, Brody Retallick. How you doing? Yeah, yeah. Come on in. Oh, there's your chair. Have a seat. Have a seat. Welcome on in to Black Chat. Man, you are tall. You are tall. You've probably been asked this question heaps of times. How many Wimbics can you do? Well, I have been asked a few times. I've never actually uh, tried to see how many I can do. Um, but I think I, the most I've ate in one season was about 10 or 12. <laughs> Uh, so you up for the dry Wimbix challenge? Oh yeah, I'll do it again. All right, now the I guess the thing is make sure your your mouth is nice yeah. and moist. Uh, so we I'll give you a couple of seconds to do that. Yeah. What's the best technique? All in one or break it up? You reckon? I'd go hard and fast. Oh, yeah. But then it gets clogged up, so don't really listen to me. Um, <laughs> you ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. All right, three, two, one, take it away. Oh yeah, it's breaking it up in the bowl and I'm going with that kind of tactic. Is it wet in there? No. Nope. Really dry. Really dry. Might be here a while, eh? I'm sure you've got appointments as well. Okay, I'm coming back, I'm coming back. Sorry, I was just um, getting me a, a glass of milk. No, it's a little yeah, bit good, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's, it's clear. Um, yeah. Would you would you like a glass of milk? Yeah, there you go, sir. There you go. Not quite enough to get first place, but with 2 minutes 25, Brody Retallick jumps to second. Um, maybe that milk should have come in a little bit earlier, eh? Yeah, that would have been nice for yeah. earlier. It's still stuck in my teeth, I think. Well, thanks for coming in, and we'll catch you next time again here on Black Chat. Good work as always. Nice job, Jay. It's Where's Rugger time, and last week, if you guessed Rugger was a... Pocket coin, then you're a brainy person. Where is he this week? This week, Rugger is in Sulphur City, which is about the same distance from Topo and Hamilton. It has plenty of mud bubbles that can get a little smelly, but it's a beautiful place with a big lake and home to about 56,000 people. Do you know where Rugger is? Well, if you do, then text the place name to 4888. And kids, ask a grown-up first. Hmm, I think Rugger is somewhere near... Tower, my awesome hometown. <laughs> Up now is Professor D-A-double-G with another fun fact about science. Duff. So listen and learn. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the land. Looks good, eh? But I'm not allowed to touch much. But I can answer your science questions like... Hi Izzy, my name's Totoa and I'm 11 years old. My question is, why does training make me faster and stronger? Well, we all need to train because it makes you fit and your body gets used to working harder. The more you use your muscles, the bigger the cells in your muscles get. When these cells are bigger, they can carry more weight for longer. Practicing also makes your muscles remember what they did, so you eventually put them on autopilot, and they will do what you want, even without thinking. 
So there you go. Training is good. But you have to remember to clean your boots or they will not like you. And if you don't believe me, check this out. One, two, two three, let's go shabby! I've been looking forward to tomorrow's game all week. I can't wait! I have a good feeling about tomorrow's game. We've trained so hard all week and now we get to score real tries. OK, guys, it's time for sleep now. Big game tomorrow. Already? But it's only six o'clock. Yes, but it's 2am in China. Oh. Let's not forget that. Mm. So, are we all prepared for tomorrow's big game? Yes, yes Grandad! Mouth guards packed, jerseys clean, and boots spotless. We don't need to clean our boots, Grandad. We're only going to get them dirty again. That's not the point, young William. Clean boots show respect for the game and make you feel proud to be part of a team. I cleaned mine, Grandad. I spent a whole hour getting the mud out of the stars and then used Mum's best tea towel to polish them up with shoe nugget. That's great, Wiv. Maybe you should have used an old sock, but good for you. Ah. As for you, Rugger, William and Alice, you should follow Webb's example. But clean boots aren't really going to help you, are they, Grandad? Well, William, that reminds me of a little story. And it starts like this. OK, team, let's talk about the game today. Rugger, how do you think you'll go? I think I'll be awesome, Coach. I've trained hard and warmed up and I'm ready for a big one. <clears throat> I'm sick of being taken for granted. Do you know Rugger has never, ever cleaned me? You think you've got it bad. Last Saturday, William stepped in a giant woggle woggle dog poo and he still didn't clean me. It's been impossible to get a day all week. Ah, William! William, what's that smell? Nothing much. Uh, ready for a big game, coach? Well, we'll see about that. Alice, we're relying on you today to score a lot of tries. Are you ready? Oh, yes, coach. I have my favourite boots on and feel fantastic. My lace is broken, half my studs are missing, and Alice thinks nugget is a naughty word. If I'm her favourite pair, I would hate to see her least favourite pair of boots. You guys have been taken for granted. You do all the hard work, and Ragger, William and Alice take all the glory. Webb polishes me every week, and I try really hard for him. We're a team. Yeah, well, I'm fed up with being neglected. Taken for granted. Treated like an old bitch. Yeah, well, do something about it. Show them that if they don't want their boots to play well, they need to treat you with TLC. I agree. I'm sick of being kicked around and left with mud on my face. Let's teach these rugbies a lesson. Right out, right out. Let's go. Hands in. One, One two, two, three. three. Let's go, rugby! <laughs> Crikey! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, what's going on? Here, caught that rugger! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, look, who did that? The boot that smells like a woggle woggle dog poo may have had something to do with it. What is going on out there? I never thought I would say this, but pass the ball to Wib! Pass the ball to Wib! Who? Me? Really? Uh, are you really my trusty friend? Webb, we're a team. You catch it, and I'll do the rest. <laughs> wow! What? Hey! Try! Why, thank you very much. Webb ended up scoring not one, not two, but three tries that day and was named Rugby of the Match. Right then. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's go then, yeah. Right. And where are you all going now? Are you kidding, Grandad? We're off to clean our boots. If Webb can score three tries with clean boots, then imagine how many we can score. Now, where's that tea towel? Oh.